Right, I've a pocket full of money here, so let's get rid of the big stuff and give you two small coins you can hold easily. A five cent and a two cent. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to shut my eyes and turn away. Yes. And I'd like you to pick up one of those coins in one hand and the other coin in the other hand. But don't let me know which hand you've got them in, because okay. I'm going to tell you. I've done that. Right. Now, whatever you've got in the right hand, uh, multiply it by four. Yes, I've done that. All right. Whatever you've got in the left hand, multiply it by, oh, something different, three. Yes. Don't done tell that. me the totals, no. but add them together. Uh, OK, I've done that. Now, just tell me whether the grand total is odd or even. The total is an odd number. Well, I would say that you had the five cent in your left hand. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> How did you do that? Well, it's pretty simple arithmetical calculation, really, but I'll tell you and you in just a tick. Rob, how did you do the coin trick? I guess there was something special about the numbers we used to no, multiply. No, not at all. I'll use... Oh, we'll do it again. We'll use very different numbers, right? Mm -hmm. OK, I'll hide my eyes and put one coin in the right hand and the other in the left. I've done that. OK. Multiply the right hand this time by eight. Yes, I've done that. All right, multiply what's in the left hand this time by, well, even bigger, nine. Done that. All right, add them together. Uh, yes. And is the result odd or even? It's an even number this time. Even number. Well, yes. then I would say that the left hand holds the two cents. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and the right hand holds the five cents. That's right. How did you do it? Well, really, it's very simple. You see, with a two cent and a five cent, one is an odd number of cents, the yes. five, mm. the other is even. Yes. And it's the odd one that controls the trick. Just consider you've got the odd one in the right hand. Yes. Now, I always multiply the right hand by an even number. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Mm -hmm. And if you multiply an odd number, five, yes. by an even number, what do you get? An even or odd number? Oh, you get an even number. Always. Always. And this one, whatever you multiply it by, will be an even number. Because so two sum. is even. That's yes. right. So the sum will be will even. It'll have to be even, yes. So if I get an even number, I know that the right hand held the five. Yes, but if they're the other way around? Well, then that one, the two, multiply an even number, is even. Even. But the odd, odd number... times odd, odd gives you odd. That's right. So if the, the sum, sum is, odd, is odd, I know that the odd one was in the left hand. Ah, as long as I remember always that the right hand gets multiplied by the even number and the left hand by the odd, I can't really go wrong. That's neat. I want to know. Curiosity.